Comment ça va? A lot of you have been asking for more cooking videos, and I've been putting them off, uh, but I guess I can't anymore. Things have slowed down in the garden, uh, at least for the next couple of days, and I figured I'd go ahead and uh, do one on uh, something that's very, very basic to Cajun cooking. Um, and that's a roux. Uh, a roux is used in our gumbos. Uh, you can even use them in a stew. It's, it's a thickening agent, but more than that, it has a whole lot of flavor. We're going to make our roux not on a gas stove, not on an electric stove, but on an old-fashioned wood stove. Now the kindling I'm going to use happens to be dried cypress that I'll split into, uh, oh I guess, half inch, three quarter inch pieces. And don't be stingy with the kindling, you can make some more. Now, I couldn't find any kerosene, or coal oil, uh, is what we used to call it. So I'm going to just use regular charcoal starter to get our kindling going. But I, we may even put it in from the top. Next, going to put in some pieces just a little bit bigger, not much, but just a little bigger. When you're lighting your fire, you want to make sure that your flue is open all the way because you want a lot of air going through there to get that fire going. Okay. We open our air up. We're going to sit here and sip on our coffee. Let that fire burn down a little bit more, make some good hot coals. Then we're gonna make our root. <sighs> so I said you bought coffee anyway. There's only two ingredients in making a root, and that is oil and flour. Some people use one part oil, one part flour. Some people use one part oil, two parts flour. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna split the difference and use about a cup of oil and about a cup and a half of flour. The pot is warmed up a little. We're gonna add our grease, our oil. I'm going to let that heat up, then we're going to come with our flour. Now we add some flour.
Now, a roux is not something that you make while watching the stories, a movie, uh, talk to your best friend on the phone. You have to devote your full attention the whole time. Constantly stirring. Don't let it get lumpy. See the advantages of that snub nose spoon? <laughs> If you lived in North Louisiana, you would probably stop your roux at about this point, which is a caramel color. But if you lived in South Louisiana, you're going to keep going until this roux gets the color of chocolate. A lot darker than this. Now you can see how much darker we're getting. This is when you have to really watch your roux. Don't let it stick. In fact, it's going to start smoking. You, you're going to believe that you're burning it. Don't worry. Don't panic. We're getting closer all the time. Right now is the color of a a light chocolate. We're gonna let it get a little bit darker. I think our roux is just about done. If you check it, it's about a shade lighter than a Hershey bar. And that's just about right. So what we're going to do now is get our lavette. That's a dish rag in uh, Cajun. And we're going to take the pot off the fire. On a regular stove, that roux would have taken about 45 minutes. On my wood stove, <laughs> and because I let the fire die out or die down towards the end, it took me uh, an hour and a half, almost two hours to make that roux. But it came out perfect. We set it on the side. We're going to let it cool off all the way. And then we're going to put it in a jar and in the refrigerator. When we do uh, the gumbo video, uh, we'll use that same roux that we made today. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it was helpful. And practice making some roux. They're easy. All in flour. All it takes. Until next time, Lashpah.